Hey cuties. So I don't post a lot about it. I should post more, but I love shoujo manga. I love girly comics in general. Like if they do girly ones in America, I love reading them. I just love that they focus on girls' emotions and just they're very romantic and they just focus on girls a lot. So I just, I love that. And I wanted to sh do a video on sometimes those Japanese magazines in Japan that publish manga like monthly. They give you like free items and the free items are super cute because they usually feature characters from that month's comic. So I wanted to show you some items I was able to get from Japan. So I think most of them are from the magazine. I think one item didn't come with it, but I'm not sure because I bought these like separate from the magazine. So I don't know which ones came with the magazines and which one didn't, but they are all based on shoujo manga. <laughs> so let me go ahead and show you what I have. So this first item is a super cute Full Moon Wo Saga Shite scissor set. And Full Moon is an Arena Tanimura manga and it's about a girl who is dying and she's going to get her soul taken but she has one wish before she dies. It's been a while since I read it but I'm pretty sure that's the plot. But she wants to become an idol star so she could meet her true love again. At least that's what she tells the angels or whatever they're called who come to take her soul. But and it's kind of dark but uh, this has like cute little angel wings obviously because like it's dealing with like life and death and angels and stuff so it's really cute. I love the design and I just love these pink scissors. They're sparkly and glittery so I don't know. I'm pretty sure this came with Ribbon Magazine because Ribbon I'm pretty sure is what it was published with. So I was super excited to be able to just find these separate. And I also got this Full Moon Wosaka site that says Arena Tanamura, the author on it. Oh, and Ribbon Magazine. This, um... Oh shoot, what are these called? They're called something boards, but they're like hard boards, I guess, that you can draw on. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to ruin it. Probably place this on my wall. Isn't it beautiful? But like my favorite artwork by Irina Tanamura is from Full Moon Wasaga Shite. It's just, it's so ethereal and detailed, but it's also very cute at the same time. Like I don't understand how she's able to make it just so cute, but so beautiful and dark at the same time. So I was super excited to find this. So my favorite manga by Megumi Tachikawa is Saint Tail. But like my favorite character design is Cyber Idol Mink. I just, I remember when I saw her, I was just so in love with her pink hair. Now I haven't finished reading this. I think I have the full manga set. I think I was able to find it, but I haven't read it yet. But it's about a girl who gets like freakishly like sucked into this like idol making program and it turns her into an idol and then she gets it's, it, you know it's so shoujo comic but she gets like scouted for, to be a an, an idol like right away but this is her little idol outfit she's, she's so cute so yeah I love anything cyber idol mink I it's very rare to come by so as soon as I can find it this is the girl in regular form and then that's the boy they all look like us all the guys look like Asuka Jr. in her comments but that's okay Mink. But yeah, this is so cute. So this is like, is this like a postcard? I don't know, but it's super cute. It's kind of flimsy, but I love the artwork on it. So this is like a little freebie I was able to get. And I also got this. Now I'm not, I think Mink was published in Nika Yoshi. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, duh, Nika Yoshi. Uh, but I was able to get this. It's Mermaid Mink. Oh my gosh, I about freaked out. So she's super cute. Look how cute that is. Oh, the fish is jumping at me. So cute, Cyber Idol Mink. I don't know if I'll pop this out and put it together. I just, I love it so much. I don't want to like ruin it or anything, but I'm super excited to get this. Okay, this was another manga I read years ago. It's called, I think, Da Da Da. And it's about like a, a, a teenage boy and girl find an alien baby. And so they have to take care of the, and that's the alien baby. And this little alien, like, watch keeper or something. Like, it watches over the baby, but... It's a really cute manga. And I don't know what this manga is down here. I don't think I read it. But I just know this one at the top is da da da. But I was able to get that. And then this last little cardboard item is also da da da. Yeah, it has the name up there. And this was in Nekoyoshi, I'm pretty sure. 
I was trying to see if the other one said Nikki or she. But this is like a little pop out thing. You can pop out. Oh, and that's the girl who raises uh, the baby and that's the boy. And of course, they fall in love. And then the last item I got, like I said, I don't know if, I don't think this was a freebie, but it looks like it, you know, it's a cute shoujo item. It's a full moon with Saga Shite little file holder or whatever those are called. But isn't that so cute? It came with this little keychain. It's a, so these are like the two like angels. I think they're called like Shinigami. I'm sorry, I forgot what those are called, but they come to collect her soul and then she makes a wish or something. I need to reread it. <laughs> I haven't read it in years. But this is the back of it. It's so cute. Let me try and zoom out so you can get a better look. There we go. That's what it looks like. But, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love the bunny girl too. I love all the characters. Even the shady cat guy. So, yeah. So these are the neat items I was able to find recently. I hope I can find more. And if you enjoy this kind of thing, let me know. And I'll definitely try and make it a regular thing. Maybe posting like manga reviews and stuff like that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you have a sweet day. Bye! <laughs>